It's a brand new school year, but you won't catch these kids complaining. It's really fun. It's very cool. They're excited about this eye-catching contraption that's been added to the playground here at Our Lady of the Assumption School. It's bright, it's shiny, and it shows school spirit by sporting the school's colors. It's also lifting the spirits of students and community. I have two kids here, uh, Zach and Nora. They're in grade one and grade three, so um, it's nice that they'll be able to enjoy the, the new playground for a few years to come. Travis and Amanda Hillier are on the parent council at the school and spearheaded this project. This is a project we took on about two years ago and right from the beginning getting approvals and then looking for people to fund it and uh, help us get it get it going. How much effort did it take? How much time? A lot. <laughs> um, it, there was quite a bit. I would say Travis put in at least 200 hours. So we have been for the last two years planning, uh, planning, fundraising, uh, recruiting volunteers uh, for our playground here uh, again started two years ago um, but ended up with a very successful beautiful playground there's a lot more equipment on this one our last one was very old our last one was only as big as like that spider web so the old one the biggest problem was is it was too small for our school so over the last 20 plus years the enrollment at Our Lady of the Assumption School has increased uh, and the old playground was only able to uh, house about half of our uh, students at any given time, so we needed something a little bit bigger to, to fit our growing growing enrollment. And play structures like this don't run cheap. The project cost $345,000. There was a ton of fundraising done, so, um, you know, as a school we did, uh, you know, a garage sale in, you know, your typical fundraising uh, type activities. We did, like, Spring Fling Bingo, which helped us raise the money. So we did, uh, as well, reach out to the community, so, um, you know, had funding from the City of Lethbridge, the Province of Alberta, the Community Foundation of Lethbridge and Southwestern Alberta, uh, the Knights of Columbus, um, you know, donations from lots of great companies. We had tremendous uh, community support for our project and it was very nice. And we had tire swings but they took uh, we took them out and all my friends are glad that they took away the tire swings because they're getting a little too out of hand and dangerous. It make people so dizzy that then get, they would get hurt. The, the new playground uh, we did design uh, with I guess you know current standards so um, we do have a rubber uh, surfacing which is completely accessible uh, for kids no matter how old uh, you know or young uh, any type of mobility issues uh, it is completely accessible um, and as well as being very safe as well uh, compared to you know the rocks and pebbles that you see it's it's been designed for safety uh, something unique about ours is um, we actually did donate our old playground to the Emanuel Foundation so they're from Edmonton Alberta and they repurpose uh, playgrounds that still have some life left in them and they send them overseas so right now our playground is in the process of being shipped uh, we're not sure yet but someplace either to a school or an orphanage uh, overseas so that other kids uh, in uh, developing countries can continue to enjoy our, our old playground. Thank you to like Amanda and Travis because they were the main ones who built our helped us build our playground. For Go on Shot TV I'm Jeanette Roche.